Countries across Europe are grappling with severe heat waves. People living in urban areas are particularly badly hit. This is due to the heat island effect, the phenomenon where urban areas experience significantly higher temperatures than their rural counterparts during heat waves. Scientists found surface temperatures in cities were sometimes up to 10 to 15 degrees higher than in their rural surroundings during summer. These figures are particularly stark given the sheer number of people subjected to these temperatures. Almost 40% of the EU's population lives in cities and this figure is only expected to rise in the coming years. Additionally, this phenomenon has a dire impact on people's health. People that are mostly affected are children and elderly people, elderly people that already have some kind of uh, illnesses, uh, for example, uh, resp respiratory uh, illnesses or cardiovascular illnesses, they are most affected by this heat. And suddenly the urban heat island effect plays mostly at night. So when you don't cool down during the night, well, this also can have uh, negative uh, health effects. This heat island effect is mainly due to urban land use. Cities are made of asphalt and concrete, materials that absorb the intense solar radiation to which they are exposed. This heat is retained and then radiated after the sun sets, which is why temperatures cool down less. However, adaptation is possible. Solutions include making cities greener, Trees like these offer shade, which helps people cool down. Plants also work as nature's air conditioner, taking water from the ground through their roots and then releasing it into the air as vapor. But adaptation only works locally and alone, it isn't enough. As long as global warming will persist, uh, we will see higher temperatures, not only in uh, cities, but everywhere around the world. So indeed, the urban heat island effect will also increase uh, towards the future with uh, additional climate change. So it's also important uh, to reduce our emissions as fast as possible. The warning from experts is clear. Either tackle the root cause or face cities becoming unlivable.